Today's show is all about getting that lap time in qualifying. Race drivers, this is Enzo, and welcome to a Race Driver Coach Show straight off the back of the British Grand Prix, which I think if you watched it, you, it was one of the best ones we've had this year. Plenty of huge shunts. Everyone's well, safe, so that's good to see, so we can say this. Uh, cars stuck behind the tyre barrier and the actual fence itself, which we've never seen before. Turn one, so I bet I'll make some changes there. Lots of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. I was there with the F2 and F3 drivers double podium on the Sunday so the Sunday was great Saturday wasn't so great but Sunday was so at least we finished on a high and, the, and they're all motivated to go to Austria this weekend so yeah it was quite quite busy so I've had to get back into mode today I'm absolutely shattered today believe it or not but I did my priming you know what we speak about the mental priming in the morning did my breathing exercises reminding myself of what I'm really grateful for you beautiful people are on my list today. The people that are watching or listening to this, I was great. I'm, I am grateful for you. And then I just rocked it and I've had a good productive day speaking to clients. And now it's time to sit down and to talk to you about things that are important. And today I'm focusing on a question that come in because I haven't done any questions. I haven't answered any real questions in this season. And that's how the whole show started about asking, uh, answering questions that people are struggling with in the racing world. So today's question came from Joe and Joe asked, Enzo, I need help with my qualifying. I feel like I'm chasing time too much and making too many mistakes. Can you give me some tips? This is a really big area, right? I think anybody racing knows how important it is that you are able to perform on demand, to perform under pressure, to perform in qualifying is a big one. You can do the testing, feel pretty good, just going out there, seeing what you can do in the race car making the car as good as you can, making the driving as good as you can. You do pretty much similar with free practice, okay? It becomes a little bit more specific and focused on lap time when it comes to free practice, but you're still fairly relaxed about it, still trying things. But then when it comes to qualifying, a lot of drivers make it such a big deal in their head that now's the time I must perform that they freak out. They're no longer driving naturally. But for you to be the best race driver you can be and for you to be successful, you've got to execute in qualifying. So if this is something you're tripping up on, you're not quite accessing your skills and not being at your best when it comes to qualifying, it's going to be a downfall if you don't sort it out. So we've got to make sure that we sort this out if this is a thing. This is for sim drivers as much as drivers in the real world. In some, some ways, sim driving is even more pressureful, I found, um, to get it right because you haven't got the feeling of what's going on in the car. You've just got a few senses, visual, sometimes sound to really tell you what's going on. And that overloads the brain in pressureful situations. So yeah, you can train this on the sim really well, by the way. So what my, my objective is when I'm working with a driver is to get them driving in a way where it's a bit like an artist, where they see they've got the pencil, they've got the page, the paper, a clean piece of paper, and they're going to draw a beautiful picture freehand. Now that's an artist. They just say, right, I'm going to express myself on this page. I want drivers to do the same. The problem is, is a lot of drivers attach too much ego, too much self-identity and too much emphasis on the end result. So if you go to an artist or even a writer, there's someone writing a book and you put pressure on the end result, what you want them to create, and you read, and you know, and the artist themselves really makes it important that I create this. It's hard for their creative juices to flow. They keep tripping up. If they're not, they keep second guessing themselves and hesitating and think, oh, maybe I could word it or draw it a different way. How will it be perceived by others, but other people, if I do it this certain way? Before you know it, they can't write a letter and they can't start the first stroke. Same with the driver. And then you see this with the Delta, right? If you, if you play or drive on iRacing and some of the, I think, uh, Seto course is the same. You've got the Delta at the top of the screen. So you start a lap. It's got there the best lap so far, whether it's your previous lap or last lap or in that session. And it gauges you in live time how well you're doing against that time. So you can be in green if you're up or, or red if you're not doing very well and you're way off the pace. So that can be distracting 
you start a lap, you go through turn one, you have a cheeky little look at the delta, you see that you're down, you start to stress out. So and then turn two, you start to outbreak yourself, trying to make up the time that you lost. That's not being in the moment. That's chasing a time. That's being held accountable for every little action and attaching emotion to it. You can't really produce your best with that kind of reminder of where you are if you're doing something right in lifetime. So I want you to free up your mind when it comes to qualifying. And you do that by, there's a few ways. You can front load the race weekend. So you make sure that you treat free practice like qualifying. So you do the certain things like bedding in breaks and doing what the team wants to do, but you tell the team, I really want to make sure that I am in qualifying mode in free practice or in qualifying mode when I'm testing, at least some time allocated to that so I can work on the mental side. And working on the mental side means I need to be relaxed and allow myself to flow so I can drive the car at the fastest in the fastest possible way and be free mentally. And then the lap time comes up instead of chasing it. So you can train it beforehand. You make sure that your mindset is in the correct place when you go out to do a qualifying run or, or a simulated qualifying run. It's like, okay, I know exactly what to do. I've got it in my mind, knowledge of what to do at certain corners, at the most important corners to create a lap time. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to warm up the tires and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to allow myself to drive without too much thought on lap time or expectations. That's really the thing to train. And in racing, well, sorry, in qualifying, when it comes to the actual doing of this, you just repeat because you've done it already a hundred times. So I want to make sure that in training and in, on the sim session as well, in the simulator, you make it a lot about that, but more on the mental side. How can I let myself drive freely instead of chasing the time? And you make that important, all right? So it's part of the training and the buildup. But then in quality, it's also getting into the mindset first and not really having expectations of a result, not putting all that delta in your head of where it is. So if you're on the sim, Take off the delta, and all you care about is the next corner that's on its way to you now. You keep all of your concentration on that. And it is like you're coming up to turn one, say like Silverstone, right? You're coming into turn one. It's, like, it's in a high downforce car like an F3. You know that turn one is pretty much flat. You don't have to lift much. But still, you want to prepare, maybe use a little bit of curb on the entry. And as soon as you've got to the left to go through to the right, you're looking through and you're thinking about the exit. So you've kind of simplified it. It's like, all I want to do is prep, get into the, the car nice and straight before I go in, think about the exit, look into the apex, think about the exit, go. No need to overcomplicate it. You know what you need to do. Then it comes to like staying at Silverstone. You're going into turn three. I need to make sure the car's straight because the most important thing here is to brake deep, but to still set up for turn four. It's all you're thinking. You're not thinking, how am I doing on the Delta? I wonder how my teammates doing. Because all these things take you away and out of the car and just allow emotion to be involved. It's your job as a race driver to do nothing but execute. And you're ex like, just like a robot would. I am now coming towards a corner, which is basically a mathematical uh, calculation that I've got to make. It's a, it's a task. It's a problem. I'm going to solve it. Right, what have I got to do? Break deep, but keep a good line for the approach for four because it's got an important exit. You just keep it at that. So you're going in towards it, breaking deep. You know you've got to have the car straight. You don't need to tell it, tell your brain this. You know the car's got to be straight if I've got to break deep, otherwise I'll lock up. You're breaking deep, and all of a sudden, your mind goes to the next objective, which is to keep the line so you can prepare for turn four. So you lock up and you prepare for turn four. As soon as you're through, your head's now thinking about turn six, which is Brooklyn's. Keeping yourself there and training yourself to have the focus where all you're thinking about is the next objective is pretty much one of the secrets to somebody who's good at qualifying. And see if you can do it. So next time you're qualifying on the simulator again, you know, use that. I would before a race weekend train this side of it. It's like, right, I'm going to switch all the delta off. I'm going to make sure that all I think about is the next objective on this lap. And even if you make a slight error, you don't allow the brain to go, oh my God, what does this mean? It's going wrong again. What are the people going to think that I'm racing against that I'm not very good? 
No, next. If ever you want to bring the mind back in line because something's happened or it's starting to waver and think about other things, you say to yourself in a very determined voice, even shout it if you need to, next. All of a sudden, the brain will say, next. Okay, what is that? Next corner. I can see the corner. We need the breaking point. You need to keep that brain in line if you're going to be a very good qualifying driver. And if you're going to use, break the patterns that you've had for so long about worrying and having expectations and I can't believe this is going wrong and my car's no good down the straight and you're allowing your mind to go there in qualifying, you're screwed. So break that by saying the four-letter word, N-E-X-T, next. As soon as you come out of a corner, you go to the next objective and just see how long you can keep it there for. And if you can do that for as long as the tires are good, you will at least execute on your level. And that's all we're asking for, right? So your skill level at the moment, six out of 10. You, you want to make sure that you execute six out of 10 when it matters. Because you'll get a lot of drivers out the way then. The eight out of tens drivers, they're eight out of 10 skill level. They're a bit quicker than you, you know, because they've had more time. They've learned the car, the track better than you, whatever. They're just a little bit better. If they're not emotionally in control in qualifying, you'll beat them. You'll, you'll start the race ahead of them because they mentally crumble, but you executed on your six out of 10. So you got where you should have. Like you probably got fourth on the grid, but the eight out of 10 drivers probably 12th because they just kept out breaking themselves and getting stressed. Don't fall for the same thing. So in quality, the only objective I want you to have is next and to keep it there and to keep breathing. So the less that's going on up in your head, the less vibrations, the less activity consciously that you have, the faster you will be. You've got to freehand draw. You've got to be that artist that just allows themselves to flow across the page. No different when you're in a race car. If you put expectations, results, Things that are out of your control, really. Expectations on you, thinking about other people, worrying about the piece of kit that you're driving, which makes you angry because it's not really what you want it to be. Qualifying becomes a very stressful event when it shouldn't be. You're just going out there on a track. You're going to drive as fast as you can and see where you're at. That is all there is to it. So, Joe... That's really all it is. And everybody out there that's stressing about these things, it's a lot simpler than you think it is. Not easy, but simple. Keep the mind focused on what you want it to do rather than anything else attached to a result. Just tell the brain what to focus on and it will. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on and see you next time.